Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to today's video. How are you? How is life? I'm okay. Listen, it has never been easier to do an anti-haul, I feel like. There just is so much underwhelming makeup that is being released right now. Am I wrong? Number one, I'm not a big fan of like holiday sets just to begin with. So most of the holiday sets that I keep seeing being posted on Trend Mood, I'm just like, eh, you know? There are some noteworthy releases and some things that I think are worth talking about though. So let's just get into it. If you're new here, my name is Haley. Thanks so much for stopping by. It would be really cool if you would consider subscribing to my channel before you go. But let's get on with our talking about new makeup releases slash anti-haul slash will I buy it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first two things that I wanna talk about are the only two things that I have really, really wanted like in the last month or so, but I missed both launches. They were sold out by the time I even realized that the product had launched. So the first one is the Shroud Cosmetics collaboration with Butte Bean eyeshadow palette. Oh, I just, I love that shadow palette. It has a couple of like greenish yellow pukey looking shades in it. Those aren't really my jam, but the other shades, the like blues and the purples in that palette, oh, I love it. I was going to put it on my calendar and like set a reminder, but I was like, no, I'll remember. And then guess what? I didn't. So it's on me, it's totally on me. The only other thing that I've seen lately that I really, really wanted was the Trixie Cosmetics, Trixie Mattel Cosmetics, I'm not sure, but Trixie Mattel's makeup brand collaborated with Miss Katya, and ugh, I just, I really wanted that lipstick. Do I need a bright red matte lipstick? No. But I did really want that gloss. They said it was like a opaque red gloss. And I just love the Trixie Cosmetics packaging. I've really been wanting to get something from Trixie Cosmetics for a while, but I just haven't had a valid enough reason to pull the trigger. It's a little bit pricey, like the lipstick was $18. And honestly, I probably would have bought it. But like I said, by the time I realized that it had launched, I logged on and it was already sold out. So I got a couple of restocks to be watching for. Otherwise, let's get into some things that puzzle me. So right now, as I'm filming this, I'm not totally sure when this is gonna go up, but there is a sneak peek of the Rare Beauty, I guess, eyeshadow palette that's going to be dropping soon. I'm gonna need to see the color story. So it just is a picture of the component of the packaging right now. Again, as of when I'm recording this, yeah, I'll need to see what it looks like because if it's just a, if it's a nude palette, I swear I can't do, I can't, I can't, I, I can't. You wanna know what the real gag is though? Me as I'm sitting here complaining about, no, it better not be another neutral palette. I just bought the Lorac Pro Noir palette something. I'm gonna make a video with it. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, but it's, it's a neutral smoky shadow palette. <laughs> the point is I'm gonna need to see the color story on this palette before I decide if I wanna get it. Also, by the time this video goes up, they might have posted what the palette's actually gonna look like. So let's discuss down in the comments if it has. The next thing that I'm seeing, this is actually really cute. Um, what is the, oh, Hip Dot, of course. I have never tried anything from Hip Dot before, but they do some really fun collections. I've been wanting to try that SpongeBob collection, not because I'm like, oh, let me try Hip Dot products, but because I love SpongeBob. <laughs> but anyways, looks like they have an El Tapatio collection coming out. The palettes look cute. It looks kind of warm, which is not really my color story, as you guys know. The palettes are not anything that I need. I I am not a big spicy person, although I live in Texas and. I have a cat named Spicy. <laughs> I don't, I'm not really a huge fan of spicy foods. I like a little bit, like a little, but I can't do really, really spicy. So anyways, El, um, El Tapatio, I guess El Tapatio is a restaurant though, isn't it? There are restaurants called El Tapatio, El Tap. Anyways, but it's also a hot sauce or they make a hot sauce. I don't know, it's, it's like Tex-Mex 
themed. It's El Tapatio. Anyways, I don't need it. I don't really want it, but it's cute. I like it. Okay. <laughs> so after I saw this ColourPop collection, I was like, I should have just waited for ColourPop to come in with this product because this new collection from ColourPop looks like a smaller, like a condensed version of the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And so I saw this and I was just like, ah, I could have saved myself the trouble of this stupid Natasha Denona palette if this ColourPop collection had come out around the same time. But this is the Taupe collection. So yeah, really exciting stuff, really revolutionary, groundbreaking new collection from ColourPop, just like what we always expect from ColourPop, doing something totally new, totally out there, way different from anything anybody else is doing. I'm of course being sarcastic. It looks okay. The Super Shock shadows, those would be fun to play with, but they do, they are just like neutrals, cool tone neutrals. So again, I could have saved myself the trouble with the Natasha Denona palette, but whatever. It's cute and it's ColourPop, so it's affordable. So if you are looking for that kind of a color story, ColourPop's got you. Ooh, okay. So I know I said that I talked about the two things that I do want at the top, but I do actually kind of want this. So Kimchi Chic Beauty, Kimchi's makeup brand, just recently came out with these, I think it's hilarious that she calls them Thaler. <laughs> if you're unfamiliar, Miss Kimberly Chi has a lisp and she has a great sense of humor about it, obviously, because I think that these are supposed to be like Sailor, but they're calling them Thaler. <laughs> So that's funny. Anyways, they made some highlighters recently and they just came out with some blushes. Highlighters kind of, uh, you know, I could, I could do without or get or whatever, but I love to try a new blush and I really like Kimchi and I like her brand, the products that I have tried from it. So I would love to try this blush. Probably not anything I'm gonna get soon though. I might wait for another sale or something from Kimchi Chic Beauty. You know, if it's just a blush that I want, it's gonna be difficult for me to want to get up on the website and order the one product. You know what I mean? Is anybody else like that? Because then I'm gonna have to pay shipping because I doubt that their shipping is, you know, free at $15. <laughs> so anyways, really cute blushes. I love the little heart compact. I like it all. Would love to have it, but probably not going to get that anytime soon. Okay, so Lawless has some new products coming out that look really cute. A little 8-pan eyeshadow palette, a little lipstick, and it looks like a liquid lipstick maybe. It doesn't say what this other one is. So it might be a gloss, it might be a liquid lipstick. Here's the thing about Lawless, you guys, okay? I have bought a couple of products from Lawless. Their foundation was on sale at Sephora not too long ago. I also, uh, a couple of their liquid lipsticks were on sale. So I bought them. I loved one of the liquid lipstick shades that I had from them. The shade color was called Brad. And the other one I didn't really like, it was called Jake. Ugh, it was not my color, but I loved the formula of that liquid lipstick. And I never actually got to try the foundation because I, I had it sitting here on my desk because I was planning on trying it one day. And I guess it got knocked over or something because when I went to pick it up to like to put it on and try it, it was like tipped over and covered, covered in oil like the whole like it was leaking oil and i guess it's because this the foundation like separated and while it was like tipped on its side but ew you know what i mean ew and the same thing happened with my liquid lipsticks from lawless i had it like on its side i had it in my little lipstick drawer and when i took it out it was just covered in oil so number one their products have oil in them <laughs> if you didn't know and number two Ugh, like what? No, can we not have products that just leak if they're on their side? No, no. So anyways, I'm a little turned off at Lawless right now. And two, because I got those products on sale. So they were, you know, re reasonably priced at the sale price for me to buy them. Full price, Lawless is expensive. So no, I'm, 
No. No, ma'am. Moving on. Okay, so speaking of little eight pan palettes, I don't understand this. I have the soft clam palette right here. So Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming out with a mini version of the soft glam palette soft glam 2 and it looks like some glosses as well how much are they charging us for this palette 29 dollars for this eight pans for this eight pan soft glam 2 palette i have the og soft glam here and i want to see if it even has the same shades and, okay so there's two shades in this mini soft glam but i feel like there's an incense in another palette hold on yeah, okay, so this shade Incense is in the Norvina palette. And then the other one, Dreamer, I feel like exists in a, yeah, okay. So the two shades, <laughs> real investigative journalism here on the ABH thing. So the Soft Glam 2 palette that they're coming out with, the mini one, eight pans, six of those shades are in the Soft Glam palette. Two of those shades are not in the Soft Glam palette, but they are in the Norvina palette. Incense and Dreamer are both in the Norvina palette. Yeah, so that establishes the fact that I don't need that palette. <laughs> I have all of those shadows. I do love ABH eyeshadows. I love particularly this formula of the like, these layout of palettes. I use these fairly often, especially if I just need to do something quick because they are very blendable shadows and they are really easy to work with and apply. But anyways, I just don't really, I don't see the point of this. I guess if you don't have any ABH shadows already, maybe, maybe. It's a, it's an okay color story. I'm not loving it to be honest, this little eight pan thing. I just don't, I'm just like, can we not think of anything else, ABH? Do we not have any more ideas? No. Okay, let's talk briefly about this Hocus Pocus collection from ColourPop. I love Hocus Pocus. By the time this video goes up, this Hocus Pocus palette is gonna be old news, but I feel like, okay, I'm looking at it in the picture. Am I crazy? And I'm gonna put it like right here. quite similar, no? What are we doing, ColourPop? Like, what's, what's the tea? What's happening? My friend Miri texted me when this collection came out and she was like, what do you think of the Hocus Pocus palette? And I was like, I think it looks a lot like the Garden Variety palette, <laughs> the one that I just showed y'all. And she was like, yeah, I feel like ColourPop is just using all the same shadows and like mixing them around. And I'm like, yeah, they might be doing that because this looks a lot like it, the color store is very similar, I feel like. Also, I didn't watch the whole video, but I did see that Manny MUA was called out for his moon spell. Well, he wasn't called out, I shouldn't say that. But people were like saying that they duped his moon spell palette with this one. I don't think that this one resembles the moon spell palette, but it does resemble one of their own palettes. So I'm like, what's going on, ColourPop? And it's, I said this in my last like anti-haul new makeup release video that I'm like, if it's going to be something epic, like Hocus Pocus, shouldn't the collection also be epic? And it's Halloween. I feel like they really could have taken it there and they just didn't, you know? It just, I feel like I already have this palette, you know? <laughs> so anyways, I'm a big fan of Hocus Pocus. Let me know what you guys thought about that collection. Something else that I saw, this I actually liked, but I did think it was something else at first. So this is from Lime Crime, looks like their holiday collection. I saw on Ulta that you can get the little eight pan palette, but I don't think that they had the bigger palette, the greatest hits bangers palette at Ulta. So I don't know what that's about. But I really like the bigger palette. The little palette's cute, nothing that I absolutely need. But am I crazy or does this look like those Nabla palettes? Do you know what I'm talking about? I saw these and I thought that it was Nabla and I was like, oh, they're doing more of the same. <laughs> Nabla is. Also, I don't know if I'm totally saying that. Nabla, oh, I doubt that's how you say it. Nabla, is that it? Whatever. You get what I'm saying. I thought that it was that brand because it kind of looks like that, doesn't it? I've never tried anything from Lime Crime. I would love to try something from Lime Crime. 
it's a little on the pricey side. The palette that I would want, the, well, the item that I would want from this collection would be that big palette, the Greatest Hits Bangers palette, especially those bright shimmer shades at the top. So that shade Dreamy, that shade Hail, Myth, Beam. Ooh, those all look stunning. I really like those, but it's a $58 palette. No ma'am, no ma'am, no, we're not doing that. Really cute though, really, really cute stuff. So I don't totally understand why like drugstore brands do this. NYX kind of did something similar, but it's like when they come out with the holiday collection, they just release so much stuff, just a whole bunch of stuff. And that is what I am seeing here with e.l.f. and their holiday collection. Just a bunch of stuff. Just throwing stuff at the wall to see if something sticks. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know that people love e.l.f. It's not my favorite brand. I don't think it's bad. I think that like, like the price points for what you're getting, absolutely. But yeah, nothing's calling to me. The only reason I wanted to bring it up is because I'm just like, why? Why do we, why do we have to go so big with the holiday collections? for these drugstore brands. I guess because their price points are lower, so they need you to buy more stuff to get better profit. Maybe that's what it is. Did y'all see this? House Labs just came out with these little uh, cheek duos. They're like blushes and bronzers. So some of them look like bronzers, some of them look like highlighters. I'm still just waiting for House Labs to put something out that looks interesting to me. I almost got that stupid love palette. I almost got that one. That one did look interesting, but for the price point, I don't even know, it doesn't say here how much they are, but I just know because House Labs, uh, like where their price points usually fall, it's just gonna be a little bit more than I wanna pay for just a simple blush highlighter duo. So ah, I just, I love Lady Gaga, I really do. I love Lady Gaga and I just want House Labs to put something out that is interesting to me. Is that so much to ask? I don't feel like it is, but I just feel like she they keep putting out these like really underwhelming products. As far as like the Wayne Goss thing goes, Wayne Goss, I'm not, I don't know where it is. I can't find it, but Wayne Goss also recently came out with some like blush highlighter duos. I would be more interested in paying that kind of money, like that kind of price point for a blush highlighter duo from Wayne Goss because Wayne Goss strikes me as like, professional he's a youtuber so like he knows makeup and not that lady gaga doesn't i just i don't know as a consumer i feel like i would have more confidence buying something as simple as a blush highlighter duo from someone like wayne goss does that make sense anyways okay also what did we think about the makeup by mario collection you guys what do we think about this one i'm annoyed of course it's expensive i i guess i couldn't have expected it to be like reasonably priced for makeup by mario he's kim kardashian's makeup artist right so of course it's expensive i'm annoyed that he did the like matte palette and shimmer palette crap i like symmetry and i like order so i do appreciate the kind of like clear these are the mattes these are the shimmers and then there's also like a metals one master metals that's 48 dollars master mattes that's $48 and Master Metallics, also $48. So if you wanted to get like the full experience of his eyeshadows, that's three $48 palettes. And so let's say you don't wanna get like the metals one, the one that only has like five shades in it. That's still two $48 palettes if you feel like you, you wanna get the full experience, you know? I just can't get on board with that. I'm just not okay with that. I mean, I'm sure it's really good products because he is like a very highly esteemed makeup artist, but it's too much, no? It's too much, it's too much. Uh, but this is where I get FOMO because this is like the kind of, this is stuff that everybody's talking about right, right now. And the, the part of me that just loves to try new makeup is just, so by the way, if I, if I talk crap about like your favorite brand or some products that you love, know that it's coming from a place of FOMO, okay? Know that it's coming from a place of, I would like to try everything. I wanna try all of it, but I cannot try all of it. So I can't try all of it, I'm just gonna hate on it. <laughs> Let's move on from that one. I need some cheap makeup, let me find, okay. 
You don't see this. So you guys already know kind of how I feel about Makeup Revolution. <laughs> Makeup Revolution frustrates me. Great prices. I've tried a few things for Makeup Revolution and it's all been pretty good. But again, for something like the night before Christmas, was this the best that we could do Makeup Revolution? Number one, these palettes are huge. So $22 for these eyeshadow palettes is really not a bad deal. Not a bad deal for as much shadow as you're getting, given that they're good shadows, of course. But I just, again, like the color story, the packaging, it's just not doing it for me. And the Night Before Christmas, I love the aesthetic of Night Before Christmas. So I mean like the outside of the packaging, all of that's good, but this just was not interesting. And it was another one of those things where I'm like, shouldn't this be more like epic? Shouldn't it just be more like more? I don't know. Maybe I have too high expectations for these collections. Let me know what you guys think because I just don't know what to make of it to be completely honest. Let me know if there's anything that I missed that you guys are not planning on buying <laughs> or planning on buying. Let me know what you guys thought about all of the products that I talked about today, of course. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.